left, everyone. It's uh, about six o'clock now. On my way home, and it's 37 degrees Celsius. Absolutely fantastic. This is the kind of weather I can ride in all day. It reminds me of being back in Africa. I just love it. Oh, I wish this the whole year. I mean, only have one or two days of this weather, and then it uh, becomes cooler again. So trying to enjoy it as much as possible. Fantastic. Well, the removal of the Diagra shifters uh, actually is no problem. Uh, that went quite easy. I just had to make sure that I kept the cables attached so I could get them through the down tube, of course. So I had to have an attachment on the one side to pull the cable through and get it out the other side. But that was quite a thing to get them out the bottom bracket and towards the derailleur and the rear brakes. This part of the shifters, no problem for me, it went quite easy. But the problem was the outing runs all the way from over there, straight through to the rear brake and the rear derailleur. So you have to work really hard to get the cable taut enough to function properly. And that was a huge problem. I struggled with this for maybe one or two hours before I got that going. So the installation of the shifters, that went quite well, no problem. Uh, the outing runs from there on both cables all the way through to the rear brake and the rear derailleur comes out over there that was quite a thing and that's for the front derailleur of course um, getting the cable out there was quite difficult but i did it and i'm super happy the other cable you see is for the light of course and that's for the front derailleur quite a mission to get the front derailleur cable out there but it's done super happy Hey everyone, what's up? The upgrade to uh, 11 speeds complete and uh, I must say attaching the shifters and uh, the cables and stuff was quite a mission uh, specifically because the cables run all the way from the shifters to the derailers and uh, it was quite a job but I did it and uh, I don't think I'll do it again um, but it's done and uh, I'm very happy so it's kind of a a winter bike that I like that I want to have because I want the fenders and the lights which I can I can attach again of course but I can now I think I can also race it so I'm pretty stoked it's in racing shape all I might do is change the wheels so I'm pretty stoked let's have a look at it well there we go cube new road FA Pro 11 speed 105 let's have a look at it we have the 105 derailleur all 11 speeds work perfectly there's no scraping in the front derailleur that's absolutely a fantastic uh, derailleur it gives you a lot of space to play with the chain so uh, that's great then we have the of course the 11 speed cassette which I had already and the 11 speed 105 derailleurs 11 speed 105 front derailleur and I'm be getting some new pedals because this pedal on the right is a bit broken so what I might do if I race is get a lighter set of wheels or just use the wheels from a mountain bike I'm not sure if that's uh, gonna fit but I'm gonna try that for the rest I have installed the shifters my god what a job that was um, the problem is This cable does not 
the outing runs all the way through to here so you've got to really get that cable very taut to, to make it work yeah you have a short piece of uh, internal cable which makes it a bit easier but this derailleur was really hard and uh, that rear brake that cable runs all the way from the front shifter to there usually it's uh, down the frame over here or the inside of the frame you have a cable and that cable runs all the way back here but now the outing runs as well and you can't cut it away because this bike just doesn't have that possibility and uh, of course it still has the clamp on 105 you can't get rid of that bit of a pity but just looking good very cool yes,